Number 10. The Bailong Elevator The Bailong Elevator is the tallest outdoor elevator in the entire world. It's also located at the stone pillars that were the inspiration for the floating mountains seen in the hit movie Avatar. It is an incredible feat of human engineering, despite its many controversies. The elevator stands over 1,000 feet tall, or 300 meters, and can be found in the Hunan province of China. It goes from the floor of the forest all the way to the top of sandstone pillars, some of which reach heights of over 3,000 feet, or 900 meters. Anyone who's seen the movie Avatar will know exactly what I'm talking about. These really are floating mountains. In Chinese, Bailong Elevator means 100 Dragons Elevator. And yes, it's officially recognized as being the tallest outdoor elevator in the world. But it actually isn't new. Construction on this impressive elevator began in 1999 with an investment of around $20 million. It opened just three years later in 2002 secured snugly against the face of the sandstone cliff. There are three double-deck elevators with glass faces that will make anyone with a fear of heights vomit into their boots. The views going up are truly dizzying. There was an upgrade in 2015, and it currently takes just 1 minute and 32 seconds to go 1,070 feet or 320 meters. If you were thinking about free climbing the elevator, it would take 68 minutes and 26 seconds, according to the French lunatic who actually did it. As for the controversy I spoke of in the beginning, the issue was that China was building a massive elevator inside of a UNESCO World Heritage Site that was supposed to be protected. There was a big uproar about it, but in the end, it actually made more sense to funnel the tourists into a single spot saving the previously used mountain trails by bypassing them with the elevator. Number 9. Akashi Kaikyo Bridge Another amazing feat of human engineering is the Akashi Kaikyo Bridge in Japan. It is the longest suspension bridge in the entire world, and incidentally, it's also surprisingly old. The bridge first opened in 1998 as a way to get between Kobe and Awaji Island. It was one of three expressways used to connect the island of Honshu with Shikoku. The bridge is 6,532 feet or 2,000 meters long. Even after 20 years, it's still the longest in the world. Before its construction, the only way to reach Awaji Island from the mainland was by using passenger ferries. But this was incredibly dangerous, because there were very often severe storms. In 1955, two ferries sank between these pieces of land with the result of 168 deaths. It was the outrage and shock of the public that kickstarted the Japanese government into developing plans for the enormous bridge. It took over 100 contractors to finish the job over a span of 10 years. The bridge can withstand winds of up to 178 miles per hour and earthquakes that measure up to 8.5 magnitude. It is an incredible feat of human perseverance in the face of design. There are over 1,700 lights on the bridge, and it costs roughly 3.6 billion United States dollars when all was said and done. What's the most amazing engineering feat you've ever seen? Was it a giant skyscraper? A bridge? Or something else entirely? Tell me about it in the comments below. Then remember to subscribe to Tall Tannic for more incredible videos just like this one. Number 8. Palm Island Get ready to have your mind blown. Even if you don't know what Palm Island is, you've probably seen photographs of it. Palm Island is an artificial island made by human hands off the coast of Dubai in the Arabian Gulf. It's often been referred to as the eighth wonder of the world, and the fact that it was even able to be built is a testament to human engineering. It was one of the most audacious tasks ever undertaken by man. The island is shaped like a palm leaf, which is where it got the name. But rather than be constructed out of concrete slabs built under the water, Palm Island was made using almost 8 million tons of rocks and sand taken from nearby mountains. Plus, millions and millions of cubic feet of sand were dredged from the bottom of the ocean to help form the island. 
To put the amount of rock and sand it took to build this place into perspective, you could create a three foot wide wall to circle the planet three times. Additionally, the island is so big that engineers had to use satellites to properly form its shape. They needed expert precision to create the exact form of the palm that you see now. The workers were guided using the highest level of GPS technology as they sprayed sand into place. When all was said and done, Palm Island covered an area of about 600 football pitches. But what's really incredible is that it took six years to build. The project started in 2001 and cost $12 billion to finish. It wasn't until 2007 when the first inhabitants of the island moved in. There are now around 1,500 beachfront mansions on Palm Island and about 6,000 apartments. There are also some major hotels. This place was built for the rich by the super rich. Number 7. Bana Hills Bana Hills in Vietnam is not only the most desired Instagram location on Earth, it's also a shocking feat of engineering. The resort at Bana Hills was basically made just for Instagram. It's located 5,000 feet or 1,500 meters above sea level and very close to the central Vietnamese city of Da Nang. This place is a weird mix between a French ski resort and a Buddhist mountain retreat, plus a bit of Disney World. Its most famous attraction is the Golden Bridge, also known as the Hand Bridge. It's a massive arced bridge that seems to be held in place by two giant stone hands. The bridge is definitely a fantastic piece of engineering. The resort isn't even what this story is about, even if it is magnificent. While most tourists are ogling over the bridge being held up by the hands, trying to score the perfect Instagram photo, others may be more interested in the Bana cable car, which is the longest non-stop cable car ride on the planet. It broke records when it opened at over 19,000 feet in length, or 5,800 meters. The cable cars take about 20 minutes to get beyond the Golden Bridge to the French village at the top of the mountain. You have to pass through the clouds just to get there, at which point you find yourself in a magical place complete with fantasy rides, 3D cinemas, a wax museum, and even an alpine roller coaster. Bana Hills really is one of the most amazing places on the entire planet. People definitely underestimate how modern and spectacular Vietnam can be. Number 6. Grand Canyon Skywalk The Grand Canyon Skywalk is, without a doubt, the most impressive glass bridge in the world. The Skywalk towers 4,000 feet or 1,220 meters above the Grand Canyon and costs $30 million to make. It was built in 2007, and it gives visitors the feeling as if they're walking on air. For those who have a fear of heights, this is an absolute nightmare attraction, but that doesn't take away from its splendor. The walkway can withstand winds of up to 100 miles per hour, or 160 kilometers an hour, and the frame of the skywalk was constructed using 100 million pounds or 40 million kilograms of steel. What's truly impressive about the Grand Canyon Skywalk is that it has a vertical drop underneath of between 500 and 800 feet or 150 to 250 meters. That would mean instant death for any silly tourist who climbed over the edge and decided to jump. In 2015 alone, over 1 million visitors arrived at the Grand Canyon Skywalk, but it's so safe and well-designed that there have been no accidents at all. Even though it looks precarious to walk out over the lip of the Grand Canyon, it's actually completely safe. Number 5. Three Gorges Dam The Three Gorges Dam is the largest dam ever constructed. When construction began in 1994, it was the largest engineering project ever undertaken in China. It was completed in 2006 on the Yangtze River in the Hubei province, and to this day, no other dam even comes close to being the same size. The dam itself is 7,660 feet long, or 2,330 meters, and has a maximum height of 607 feet, or 185 meters. 
used in the construction were 37 million cubic yards of concrete or 28 million cubic meters. The dam was made to be a deep water reservoir that allowed ocean-going freighters to drive inland from Shanghai to the city of Chongqing, making shipments much easier. There are also turbine generators that came online up until 2012 and currently have the capacity to generate 22,500 megawatts of electricity. According to Britannica, this makes the Three Gorges Dam the most productive hydroelectric dam on the planet. The dam also works to protect millions of human lives from flooding across the Yangtze Basin. The idea for the Three Gorges Dam was first discussed in the 1920s. Detailed planning for this immense project didn't start until 1955. It really was almost 100 years in the making. Number 4. The Great Pyramid of Giza It's impossible to look at the most impressive feats of engineering in human history without taking a look at the Great Pyramids of Giza. While there are three different pyramids at this incredible site near Cairo, the main pyramid of Khufu is really the most impressive of them all. But there has been a lot of speculation over how this wonder was built. Was it by aliens? Could humans truly have pulled off such a feat of engineering thousands of years ago? The answer is no and yes. Aliens definitely did not build the Great Pyramids of Giza, but human hands most certainly did. The main pyramid was built for the second king of the fourth dynasty, Khufu, and it's the largest of the three pyramids. The lengths of each side of the base measure about 755 feet or 230 meters, and the original height was 481 feet or 145 meters. Khufu's pyramid is the most colossal building ever erected on our planet. It's an absolute monster of creation. The core of the pyramid is made of yellow limestone blocks, and the outer casing is actually all but gone. There are even interior burial chambers tunneled through the huge blocks of granite. How many blocks did it take to build the pyramid? 2.3 million of them. They were cut, transported, and used to create the structure, which, when finished, weighed 5.75 million tons. To this day, the Pyramid of Khufu is still a technological wonder. What's really interesting is that the entrance to the Great Pyramid is 59 feet, or 18 meters, above ground level. The corridor then slopes into the pyramid all the way to the unfinished underground chamber. There are then different passageways that lead to other rooms, not all of which have been discovered. As for the building itself, most historians agree that the Egyptians used a series of sloping embankments of brick and earth that would have increased in height over time as the pyramid rose. Blocks were put in place using ramps, rollers, and levers. And if the Greek historian Herodotus is to be believed, it took only 20 years to construct. However, it did require the labor of roughly 100,000 workers. Number 3. Taipei 101 At one time, Taipei 101 was the tallest building in the world. It's a massive skyscraper that dominates the horizon anywhere you look in Taipei, Taiwan. It's also home to the highest Starbucks in the world, which is perhaps the fanciest and most exclusive Starbucks ever open. The only way in is by making an appointment. The skyscraper only lost its title as the world's tallest building in 2009 when the Burj Khalifa was finally completed. Taipei 101 is 1,667 feet or 508 meters tall. It was the first building on the planet to break the half kilometer mark. It was finished in 2004 and as of 2018 was still the largest building built in an earthquake zone. It's kind of a vague title, but it's still pretty cool. Taipei 101 was designed with such precision that the building will withstand an earthquake of up to nine on the Richter scale. Number 2. The Typhoon-class submarine The largest submarine is still functioning today. The Typhoon-class submarine came to life thanks to the Russian Navy, and it is the undisputed master of submarine design. It's larger than any other submarine built by any other country. 
It's 33,800 tons and nearly twice as large as the United States Navy's Ohio-class ballistic missile sub. That's pretty impressive. However, there is only one of them left functioning, and its capabilities are uh, up for question. The TK-208 Dmitry Donskoy is the last Typhoon-class submarine still remaining. But, according to Forbes magazine, nobody is completely sure what kind of weapons the monstrous submarine is carrying. It could have enough firepower to obliterate any country with the push of a button. But then again, it could also be armed with just a single missile. Nobody knows whether this marine destroyer still has a nuclear arsenal even though it was originally equipped with at least 20 intercontinental ballistic missiles, each of which measured 53 feet or 16 meters in length. Number 1. The Transport Spaceship Just recently, Japan succeeded in launching the world's largest transport spaceship. Anything to do with space is obviously an impressive feat of human engineering. Plus, anything that can go to space is going to be an extremely cool vehicle. According to the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency, they launched the Kouno Tori 8 H2 transfer vehicle to resupply the International Space Station with water, batteries, food, and other supplies. But it's the largest transport spaceship to ever leave Earth. The transfer vehicle itself is only 32 feet long, or 10 meters, 14 feet in diameter, or 4 meters and has a total mass, when empty, of 23,000 pounds, or 10,400 kilograms. But this is still the biggest transport spaceship we have ever come up with as a species. It can carry almost twice as much payload to the International Space Station as the next best. A single trip can give those stationed at the ISS almost 13,000 pounds, or 6,000 kilograms, of supplies. What do you think is the next greatest engineering feat that mankind will conquer? Let me know your theories in the comments and thanks for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for all the latest and greatest videos from the channel.